Okay, folks, got my two inch ram from Rife in again. Had this thing in and out so many times, just playing around, winterizing. See my uh, drive pipe line here to the ram. My outside line, outside delivery line goes up, and it's going to go eventually up to the house. And uh, here's the ram that I built on Ram Pumps Part 2, and that's installed. I'm going to go ahead and get that baby running. Alright, to start one, you close your outside valve, you open your inside valve, and you get your camera out of the valve. Oh yeah. Yes, it's running. You crack this outside valve now. And I've already got uh, water in the pipe, the outside pipe. Oh, I'm pushing it again, folks. Got to build that pressure up. Here we go. See so it going up the water a little bit. I'm just trying not to open this valve faster than it's releasing pressure. But I'm impatient, so I keep turning, of course. And my boot's filling with water. Whoops. No, oh, I'm just going for it. But she's still pumping. She's about to shut off, though. Okay. Maybe not. Cheated it a little bit. It'll build up a little bit now. Okay. So our homemade ram pump is running. Thanked her down to a concrete block. I ran it into a T because I want to run two rams. Two different setups here out of my pond. This is kind of my playground down here. Uh, oh, here comes... Uh, from somebody over here looks like my daughter Sarah and okay I'm gonna try something I have never tried before and that's hook two different uh, rams two different drive lines into a one common delivery should be able to do it I'm gonna let this one run it might shut off I'm gonna go messing with it with this one come on Sarah you need to come help me with this so we're gonna start this this one again startup sequence on any ram outside valve is shut inside valve is gotta be open. Okay. Shut the valve. I'm gonna open that all the way up. And now we're gonna come over here and start the ram. Gotta, there you're gonna get wet, girl. This one takes a little bit more time to get started. This thing likes to have some back pressure. I'm just manually doing this until it wants to do it. You can kind of get a feel for when it wants to run on its own. Outside valve is shut. All right, it's running on its own right now. Okay, to conclude part three, we have both rams running, two inch rife and a homemade pump. Two drive pipes, both uh, galvanized, one two inch and one inch and a quarter. They're both pumping water, and they pump at different rates because this one is adjustable, and, and that one is too. And I really haven't shown you that adjustment yet, and I'll save it for part four. Water is coming out of the pipe. This camera's not good enough to pick it up. Maybe it is, I'm not sure. But there is a pipe up in the tree with the water coming down. Maybe you can pick it up. I can't see it on this little screen. So, we did it. Pretty much spent all day, had to replace a pipe that had broken, and uh, had to put that pump together, plumb it in, and so now we got both going. So very good. All right. Okay, well, we're going to wrap up part three. Here we are at the pond. This was, again, just a spring-fed small uh, stream that we dammed up, put some pipes in the dam to run ram pumps. 
make sure you plan ahead and put the pipes in first. I have one that's way down and then this one I shoveled in by hand. It took me forever to get it down deep enough. Then my rams are about 12 to 14 feet below the surface of the water. I could take them farther downstream but it's good for now because I don't have any stand pipes. So you hear the pumps running? I'll get down close you can kind of hear the And right here you'll hear both of them. That one's running. I've been running for about 30 minutes now. It's getting late though. I'm gonna head up to the house and you can see the, the heartbeat of the ram. See that moving I think. I know you can hear it. Okay, got any questions about part three? Installing a ram, let me know. And we installed two rams today, started both up, tied both together, and they're pumping water at about 30 feet. Um, there's water coming out of a tree up there, out of a pipe I stuck up in a tree. I think you can see it. It's 30 feet uh, at least above the rams. And I'll be going another 40 feet at least farther up. And uh, Actually, they'll run even a little bit better with a little bit more back pressure. Okay, if you have any questions, fire away. You have any questions? No. No, no questions from Sarah. Okay. <laughs> She's been my helper today. Okay, let's get tools picked up.